Hi, Sean. Hey, Bob. What's up? Um, someone alerted us to this great quote. It's actually a terrible quote, but it's a great quote uh, by John Piper. Okay. Yeah, and the funny thing is, I've read this book and I read the foreword, and, and we I missed, missed it. that we line. Missed it. We missed, I missed it. the line. It's in. It appears in Thomas Reiner's book, Faith Alone: The Doctrine of Justification. The foreword is by John Piper, and this forward, I think, unquestionably shows that Piper teaches salvation by works. But you be the judge of it. You be the judge. Listen to what Piper says. This is from page 11. As Tom Schreiner says, the book tackles one of the fundamental questions of our human condition. How can a person be right with God? The stunning Christian answer is sola fide, faith alone. Now, we would agree so far. That is That's the standing correct. Christian. We believe this. That's right. It is truly by faith alone in Christ. How to be right with God. That's correct. That's how you become right with God. But what Piper is about to show, he absolutely rejects that. He does not believe that. He says he does, but just listen to the very next sentence. But be sure you hear this carefully and precisely. He says, right with God by faith alone, not attain heaven by faith alone. What? Wait, 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 wait a second. <laughs> okay. wait. I thought if I was right with God, I would attain heaven. That's what being right with God means. Exactly, but that's not where Piper's going. That's not where he's going. Somehow he, he says, he's, he, I think he's saying they're different. You can be right with God, but not attain heaven? What? Right, and he's talking about Schreiner, too. And he's talking he's about Schreiner's for both of them. Yeah. He goes on to say, so, uh, there are other conditions for attaining heaven but no others for entering a right relationship to God. In fact, one must already be in a right relationship with God by faith alone in order to meet the other conditions. What is he saying? What, okay, by, by contrast, this is the free grace view. I think we're very simple and we're very clear and anyone can understand this. If you want to be in a right relationship with God, and to be with God forever, to attain heaven, the one condition is what? Faith alone. Faith Soul alone. Feeding, yeah. Faith alone. But he is saying, you can be in a right relationship with God by faith alone, but then there are other conditions for attaining heaven. And notice they're plural. Conditions. 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 What are these other conditions if they're not faith alone? Well, they're obviously what? Works. Yeah. Works. Piper is saying you need works to attain heaven. You can be in a right relationship with God, whatever that means. I mean, what, 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 what good is it to be in a right relationship with God if you're not going to attain heaven? Isn't that a contradiction? I don't know. Are you confused? I'm confused. Yeah. Well, basically what Piper and Schreiner do is they say there's a present salvation and a future salvation. There's a present justification and a future justification. The present is by faith. The future is by works. And in their view... Having this right relationship with God does not guarantee you're going to get into heaven. Now, having said that, both Piper and Schreiner would say you can't lose everlasting life. If, if, <laughs> but that's an inconsistency. Right. Well, because, yeah. they, because to say you have a right relationship by faith alone, and you attain heaven by other conditions, is, is clearly to say that final what they call final salvation is by works. And they... Schreiner will come out and say that. It is confusing, and part of the way it's confusing is because you will have men like Piper and Schreiner who will say, on the one hand, um, salvation is by faith alone, apart from works, but then they'll say, on the other hand, you've got to have works. If you don't have the works, you're not going to make it. But this quote you found is one of the first ones I've heard where they clearly distinguish between right relationship and plural conditions for entering heaven. This is an amazing quote, and I'm surprised that Schreiner put it in his book, and I'm surprised that uh, Dr. Piper wrote it. Because it doesn't sound like Calvinism to me, does it you? I mean, it sounds more like Arminianism. You know, it seems to me they want what we want, which is godly people. They want yes. people to glorify God. We yes. want that too. Yes. The question is, how do you get there? Do you do it God's way? Mm -hmm. Or do we help God out and kind of tweak with the message? And I think what the Apostle Paul said um, in the book of Galatians is we can't tweak the message. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 